Accurate fitting is critical to the quality of vision obtained with any spectacles. The method used should be carried out with care and be seen to be done in this way. Shortcut methods, such as dotting with a felt tip pen, have been shown to be less accurate. And they stand in stark contrast to the care taken by optometrists and the quality of the equipment they use in their consulting rooms. Just have a seat there. Thank you. You might like to look at some of these frames, actually. Is there any there that you think you might like? Uh, yeah, there's a few there, actually. What about those ones there? Those they look ones? quite good. Yes. They actually look like they'd suit the shape of your face quite nicely, so we'll have a look. It's very important to ensure that the frame is in its final fitting position before you take any measurements. Okay, just have a look at yourself in the mirror and see mm -hmm. what you think. Yeah, they look quite nice. Yes, mm. I think they're good. All right. The corneal reflex off. pupillometer is the only instrument designed to measure yes. the distance between the visual axes and not just the distance between the pupil centres. Before you take the distance PD, set the working distance knob to infinity. Now I just want you to look through this. Just Think of it as a pair of binoculars. You'll see a green ring of light, and in the centre there's a white light. Mm -hmm. I want you to just look at that white light for me. Mm -hmm. The black line should pass through the very centre of the reflex on the client's cornea. The dispenser now flicks the occluder lever across to measure the other eye. That's good. Now I'm going to do the other eye. Right. The first alternative for step three is to draw your own graticule on the inserts with the help of a parallel rule. The book gives details on how to do this. Several lens companies produce parallel rules for this purpose. We show two options here. The centration gauge and the die test. The second alternative for measuring heights is the eye point gauges from Hoyer. While these stickers are intended for the mirror method, they can also be used for this purpose. A third method involves two small height rules, such as those from Hilco. These are positioned in the bottom rim of the frame and clip around the top rim. Finally, we have a new gauge called the HMS or Height Measurement System from Essilor. This gauge clips onto the frame and the scales can be wound up and down until the top of the scale is in line with the reference point. The optical centre for an aspheric lens must be dropped 1mm below pupil centre for every 2 degrees of pantoscopic tilt. John, I'm just going to take a new measurement for your lenses. Mm -hmm. Put those on for me please. That's good. Now just look straight at my eyes. Okay, that's fine. Now I just want to measure from the side here. Tilt your head back for me, please. Just stop there. Now just a little bit forward again. Right stop. Now I want you to hold that position for me and just look straight ahead just as though you're looking into my eyes, okay? Note that the lenses are perpendicular to the floor. Good. Okay. Now look into my left eye. Good. Now my right eye. Okay, that's excellent. Just take those off for the me. The dispenser please. has artificially set the pantoscopic tilt Thank to zero. Thank you. So there's no need to measure it. Therefore, this will be the final height for the optical centre. <laughs>